Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the uh, completable future Java 8 concurrency API improvement. So let's go through the slide. Uh, first of all, we have our introductory part. Uh, this video is a guide to the functionality and huge cases of the uh, completable future class introduced as a Java 8 concurrency API improvement. Uh, when we talk about the asynchronous computation in Java, the future interface was the added in Java 5 to serve as a result of an asynchronous compu computation. But uh, it did not have any methods to combine these computations or handle possible errors. In Java 8, the computable future class was introduced along with the future interface. It also implements the uh, completion stage interface. This interface defines the contract for an asynchronous computation step that can be combined with other steps. Uh, completable future uh, is at the same time a uh, building block and a framework with around 50 different methods for composing, combining, executing asynchronous computation steps and handling errors. So if you look into the JDK, now you can see uh, completable future class has been added in JDK 1.8 and this interface implements two uh, interfaces this class implements two interfaces future as well as completion stage and future was added in jdk 1.5 so you can see in the uh, java doc is saying that it was introduced introduced in the jdk 1.5 and if you look into the completion stage interface this was just added in jdk 1.8 and uh, if you look into the future interface then these are the uh, api or methods is going to implement by uh, completable future and apart from that as you can see this class implements one more methods and that is called completion uh, stage method and if you press ctrl o then you can see hands full of method uh, i mean is belongs to the completion stage interface and basically these methods helps you to basically perform some asynchronous request uh, so you can perform different kind of computation uh, using uh, this api and uh, th those computation will basically perform in the asynchronous manner so next video onwards we are going to see some hands-on uh, we'll have some hands-on on computable future uh, class and we'll see how we can make use of this com uh, complete table future class and how we can perform some kind of asynchronous request in different way so that's all i have to discuss in this video tutorial in next video tutorial we'll see some practical demo so thanks for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial